Okay. So that's where there's some skepticism. You know, is this kind of engineering of the number or is this a reasonable thing to do given the data? So let's start out with just wrapping our head around what a two sigma result would be. So what's your best explanation of a two sigma result? It, it quantifies a probability. So in that case, it's 5%. So it really means if you did the same- So one in 20. One in 20, correct. Mm -hmm. If you did the same experiment 20 times, one of those 20 times, you would expect to get a detection, even though there's nothing there to detect. It's just a spurious result. So that's your confidence level. 95%, 5% chance of being wrong. And so that you get three sigma, that's one in uh, a thousand times. Yep. Okay. And in the, you know, five sigma would be like the gold standard, and that's like one in 10 million. So that's kind of the Higgs boson level of confidence that we had when that was announced you know, with the Nobel Prize winning discovery. So mm -hmm. this is not yet five sigma. It is claimed to be three sigma, one, one in a thousand. It may in fact be less than that, depending on who you believe. Um, and so that's why, you know, it's still exciting. I still think, you know, two sigma is still exciting, but historically there are a lot of two sigma detections that disappear under subsequent scrutiny. There's then the question of let's assume it's true.